If you want to avoid making the same mistake made by the person who previously attempted a fix on this panel, watch till the end to get the whole picture. And please like and subscribe if you find value in the content. In the case of this panda panel with its timing control built onto its source PCB, I disconnect the other PCB to try to zoom in on the faulty part of the display. As I power on, the display is still blank. Obviously, I had to do more work. However, I noticed from experience that the flex cable that connects both PCBs looked a bit unusual, but more on that later. Upon troubleshooting, I found that an in-glass short was the reason for the no display problem. After fixing it using a bypass method that has worked for me for years, handle comes alive. However, something's wrong. Now back to the flex connector. When I restore connection between both PCBs, here's what happens. No picture. At this point, two things are suspect. Either the right side PCB with its COFs are shorted or there's a problem with the flex cable. I go first with the cable. My memory tells me this connector has the exact same look as the one from a similarly designed sharp screen. Now here's the one for the 39 inch panda panel. Note that usually this cable for the panda panels are not folded like the ones for the sharp screens. Also, the pins to traces ratio isn't the same. Now what happens when the spare cable is used? So, you see how this solution highlights the need to have an eye for details in electronics troubleshooting. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you found value in this tip. I'll see you on the next one.